Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August 23rd of 2022. Well, it is titled Meteor and Milky Way over Mediterranean. So what do we see here? Well, looking off over the Mediterranean Sea, in the foreground, we see up in the sky a couple of different things, including our galaxy and one of the meteors. Now they're pretty easy to see, but let's go ahead and label them here. And we see the Mediterranean Sea uh, in the foreground and one of the islands with the tower on it off in the distance that frame the earthly portion of this image. And then up in the sky, we do see our Milky Way galaxy and a Perseid meteor off to the right. So two things at vastly different distances. The Milky Way galaxy is our galaxy that we are within. So of course, parts that we are part of that galaxy. But when we look off in the distance and looking towards the central portions of our galaxy here, we are looking at things that are tens of thousands of light years away. So the glow there, that whitish glow that we see around is the glow of many billions of stars that are present within the galaxy. And the dark dust clouds are darker, dusty areas that are present and are actually the presence of excess material that blocks out the light. So were the dust not present, this would actually be a much brighter area and we would see many more stars here. So there are far more stars in our galaxy that are simply not visible to us in this general direction simply because of the amount of dust in between them. And we cannot see through that dust, even though it's very spread out. It's spread out over hundreds and thousands of light years and all these individual particles. It eventually works out so that no matter where you look, your line of sight reaches one of those dust particles. And therefore, they become opaque and you cannot see through these dust clouds. And that gives us the dark dusty area and keeps this part of the Milky Way from being extremely bright as it would be otherwise. Now off to the right hand side we do see one of the Perseid meteors and we just had the Perseid meteor shower earlier this month and this is one of those now you can't plan to have a meteor in any specific spot in the sky because they are just small grains of sand within the uh, orbiting the sun uh, following the orbit of a comet and when they happen to strike Earth's atmosphere they vaporize. But they are far too small to be able to track. So we never know when any specific one would would be at a certain place in the sky. Now we certainly know when the shower will occur and when it's more likely to have meteors. But you could certainly not plan to say there is going to be a meteor coming here that would be going directly up and down matching this image. That's really a matter of luck. You happen to get whatever happens to come in terms of a meteor shower. So we can predict the meteor shower and when there will be more or more or less meteors, but not exactly where they would happen to appear. So here we get uh, over the Mediterranean, our Milky Way on the left hand side, and one of the Perseid meteors streak uh, that is streaked across the sky on the right. So that was our picture of the day for August 23rd of 2022. It was titled Milky Meteor and Milky Way over the Mediterranean. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Wheel of Galaxy. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class. <laughs>